Hey mamas, shut your baby's mouth. Oh my goodness, that doesn't sound very nice, does it? But if there's one thing we learned with the pandemic is the importance of nasal breathing because it hydrates your air, it filters your air, and there's like a hundred other things. I'll do a pod or a little video on that. But today we're gonna talk about establishing nasal breathing very early on. And babies are obligate nasal breathers, but with tongue tie and a variety of other reasons, some babies keep their mouth open like this cute little baby. She's got an open mouth posture. And that can create challenges with suck, swallow, breathe patterns. It can create challenges with the development of your palate, your nasal airway, your oral facial structures, your speech, feeding, all kinds of stuff. So let's start early by shutting your baby's mouth. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you're holding, so what I tell my patients is that grandmother or whomever is holding baby is in charge of making sure that baby's mouth is closed. So when you're holding your baby, you just very gently put the lips together. And it doesn't have to be a big deal. If the baby yells or you know fusses or whatever, you just kind of back off. And then if they're okay with it, then you just go back and give them a little bit more input to keep their lips sealed. What happens when, well, I'll tell you what happens when your mouth is open, your tongue lays flat and it doesn't sit into the palate. And that's what we want it to do. We want your tongue to sit into the palate to help shape that palate so it's not so high and arched and it gives it a better nasal airway and it gives the palate a better shape, which then allows your teeth to come in more straight and it also helps with speech development and feeding. I mean, it's, a, it's super, super, super important and certainly worth your time of just very gently lifting your baby's lips together so that they're sealed. And who's ever holding baby, you can do it here. You can hold your baby on their belt like, like this. Sometimes is a good place for babies that are kind of a little grouchy and you can just put a little pressure on their lips just like this, just close their lips. And if their lips are closed, they'll be more likely to lift that tongue up into the palate, which should be and is the most optimal tongue rest position. So mamas and daddies, close your baby's lips.